Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a post review for you, um, which is my Sybil art kit from Crafties. So, this is Flora from Sybil Art. And I am so happy with how she turned out. This was my second canvas for the Butterflies with Diamond event. Um, Butterflies with Diamonds event. She is a 45 by 45 round diamond with, I think there were three rhinestones. Um, she is stunning. I am so happy with this one. Let me raise you up a little bit so you can maybe get looks about like the full image. Um, so like I said, this is from Civil Art. It is legally licensed through Crafties. Um, there were 28 colors and three rhinestones, like I mentioned. Um, this purple here in her earring and then this little feather. And then there were two shades of like teal slash aqua. So the butterfly, the collar of her dress here and sprinkled throughout her headpiece. Um, I'm really impressed with Crafties. I have a couple of other kits um, in my stash from them. One of them I'm still waiting on special diamonds from, um, but they were really responsive about that. Um, so, so far, customer service gets a check from me, uh, rendering gets a check, legally licensed. It has all the, the right stuff. They have all the right stuff going for them. Um, I'm hoping, I'm filming in a different spot today. Normally I have more natural light, um, but it's a little gloomy out today. So I'm using two artificial lights. So I'm hoping you can still see the sparkle, but that is one of the things that I was like, wow. When I took my first progress picture for Instagram, I was probably like halfway. So I had like this section done and I was like, this is so sparkly. So really hope that that's picking up for you guys. Um, and I was really impressed with the rhinestones. Um, I've done a couple of special projects, so like passport holders. Um, I feel like I did something else, but it's not registering in my brain right now. Um, but this is the first like kit that I've done with rhinestones and I was pretty impressed. I didn't have any um, problem with them. I did use a pretty placer wax crayon to lay them down. Um, but yeah, isn't she so pretty? I just loved the yellow. Loved the yellow. I have my trash or this little macaroon macaron. I don't know how to say it. I used the Harbor Freight storage system for this. Um, I just pulled a couple of extras from another set. Um, but I have plenty of diamonds left. Let me pull you guys down a little bit. I have plenty of every color. So let me pull out the rhinestones here. I had plenty. Um, there was definitely less of the purple just in the kit in general. Um, but I still have plenty left over. Um, no problems with the rhinestones. I've heard a lot of people that have said um, that, that have done like full rhinestone kits, that they have a lot of garbage. Um, I didn't experience that. I did have a couple that I felt like the coating maybe rubbed off, um, but I didn't think it was anything abnormal. This is my trash for this painting which to me is very minuscule. Um, I just had a lot of like the little tiny pieces. I had quite a few of those. Um, you can see here is a rhinestone that I felt like the top coating wasn't quite right. Um, but yeah, standard amount of garbage, I would say. I don't think it's anything excessive. Um, yeah, I feel like 
I always feel bad when I have a post review and I don't have anything bad to say about the kit, but it's kind of refreshing because I feel like most of the time there's always something. Um, I guess my only something would be, I felt like certain parts of the canvas didn't necessarily flatten out completely. Um, and I've heard this from somebody else who has done a post review or two from this company. Um, maybe that helps you see it a little bit better. And I had this laid flat in a portfolio of a bunch of other diamond paintings. Normally that flattens my canvases out really well. I felt like this one just didn't quite get there, but I don't really think it hindered too much the diamond painting. I think maybe like here you can see it, but the rest of the kit looks really great. Um, and also this could have been from how I laid my washi tape down, who knows. And really quickly before I end this video, I just wanted to highlight this pen that I used. Um, I got a lot of compliments on Instagram. Um, like I had a lot of messages. Oh my gosh, where did you get this pen? So I wanted to show it here. So this is a hybrid flower girl blank and it was turned by Jim over at Jim's Handmade Pen Shop on Etsy. Um, I love this pen and when I got it, I was like, oh my gosh, it's the perfect pen for this kit. The yellow and the pink and the green, it just, it was perfect. And I absolutely love it. And I have an everlasting all-in-one single placer and a seven placer on this one. I think that these tips will stay in this pen because it's one of my absolute favorites. So yeah, I just wanted to highlight that pen a little bit because I thought it was perfect for this kit. Um, I'll give you one more peek at this beautiful piece. So happy with it. I'm excited to work on my other pieces from this brand. Um, might not happen right away, but it's definitely on my radar. And I think that's everything. That's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for checking out this video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you are tempted to purchase a Crafties. I definitely think it's worth it. Um, I will link them down below. Uh, and I will speak to you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye, guys.